too much running away, so I don't want to kill you. So, <laughs> I have a less of this, even though you will be pushing me. Have a less is everything in the state. The non-exertion is everything. You have to be balanced and maintain it. So therefore, how do we do amphibolism be aware of equilibrium? What's the equilibrium here? He stand up, he doesn't move, he's his equilibrium. So therefore, put the weight on me. I'm supporting his equilibrium, that's wrong. You put the weight on me again, all the way you want. So I support his equilibrium. First of all, you'll be able to just touch his equilibrium. Whenever he comes to you, you just maintain that. You touch his equilibrium, not his weight. Now most common, most people do when you people put the weight on you, you put the weight back. That is worse. You go away, you fall down. So you touch it, you leave them first. When it becomes a second nature move, huh? move back and forth, and follow him first, right? Don't think of pushing him. Gradually the evidence will become the same. Right? He will come to you. So in other words, you to be aware of evidence, you cannot use that exertion ever. So, uh, I work is just simple. You, you start with effortless, you, be, you end with effortless. In between is your training. Effortless is your nature, your second nature. You do everything effortless anyway. You go to pick up the sword, you go to tie your shoe, you go to shake hands with people, you want to drive your car, it's effortless. You use no effort. Using effort is only probably the training, the learning. You learn how to drive a car, right? You say, you make a lot of tension, a lot of effort. But when you learn how to drive a car, you're effortless. So now the trick is, you know how it is like to feel effortless. That's the whole touch of Tai Chi. You feel effortless. And then you would do the same when you're doing to be effortless. So therefore you cannot exert yourself. So I said, do Tai Chi right here. You be effortless. You raise your arm with effortless. You cannot raise your arm. You use effort. Now, you may use an effort for years, you will become effortless. But might, might as well be the very beginning. Become effortless. Yeah. It's harder when you encounter with people. You grab my hand tight, I become effortless. That is, doesn't have to learn, but if you use effort, then I have to learn. To fight with him, to learn, you know, you become effortless. Okay, right? The next time you move, it has to be effortless. Now you cultivate this effortlessness is what can be achieved. Your chi is always effortless. And you, you know, get to the point. Right? You shake hand with him, doesn't it happen? Not like that. Nobody like this. Right? You can wear <laughs> So the my thing is I'm very beautiful. Right? Head tight, I can let you cut the head with it. Why? I don't have a bother. I do anything, it's also an effortless. So, so the effortless is your nature, so therefore, to practice the nature, we call it Shin Ten, pre, pre bordel or pre what we call it. So your Tai Chi Chuan, when you do it with effortless, you know, to do it is Shin Ten practice. There's something called, you know, pre birth practice, whatever, you know, you just maintain balance effortless. The second is how Ting, you know, is after birth, is, is a called uh, post bordel. After you're born, you learn, right? So you learn this, you learn. Nobody moves like that in nature. I mean, you know, and even monkey don't move like that. That is that you, you learn. They thought that is a much more appropriate, better, you know, for certain, whatever, you know, it is. So you use the knowledge of uh, uh, Chinese traditional medicine, the radio, the chi, and so forth, the joint, and the anatomy, how about the bad and so forth. It's an afterbirth. You learn it. So therefore, the, 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 the pre-birth, the spontaneity, the natural, how you put into your later learn, that will be a system of any internal martial arts. So that to be to be lazy, to be tricky, is you remember the essence of it. The essence you want to be effortless, right? So you do everything very good, so you can be effortless. So that you might want to do everything in the beginning, you learning to get effortless. So therefore, the Tai Chi people only tell you, do not exert yourself, do not use force. But then he didn't explain to you why, right? You do not use force, you cannot do that. You cannot. How can you pull this guy, you do not use force? You, know, you cannot do that, you don't use force. So therefore, when you practice, you do not use force. But when you go to push somebody, you know, wait till he's going to push them. 
That is exactly not what you mean. So you should be exactly the same thing. You do not use force. You do not use force. Right? So do not use force means that you want to attain an effortless state in every single situation. So it's not hard to be balanced. It's a danger, right? You stand up, nobody fall. So stand on this ground. You can apply your nature. But you stand on the tight rope. I think you fall down right away. You stand on the pedal beam because you do not, you do not use to. You are not put your staff situation. But therefore, training, you stay the tight rope. You keep on coming down, you falling down, coming down, falling down. Until one time, you stand up the tight rope as if you step on the ground. That's your second nature. Then you'll be able to walk up. So the training do not conceal. Using effort is not the end, it's the means. So you learn the set, you learn the breathing, it's just a, you know, a means, you know, how to go to the end. The end is to be effortless. The tricky thing is, you're already effortless, you know how effortless you like, you know effortless feel. Can you not, if somebody tell you, put the effortless program into what you do? <laughs> I just succeeded in my method. I tell a lot of the workshops, they tell people, you can experience effortless immediately. You stand right here. You do not force me. Let me put all the weight on you, right? You don't have to put it back. Do you use any effort to support my weight? Nobody has. Huh? You put all the weight on me. I cannot, I can move a little bit. I can move, move the comfortable plate. I don't use any effort. I could I change a little bit, right? I move you now. Right? So, to be effortless. So that I approach it, I also have to be effortless. I cannot, like this. I guarantee this doesn't work, you know. You cannot work in fight with me, you know. You can fight with me, but you have to be effortless. The chip pad is total. So effortlessness is, is your nature. So how do you import this nature into it? It's a high key. So you find a lot of effort that you go to stand here, I tell you to stand like that, so I forget about that. Because I used to people stand five minutes and five minutes. Then I cannot say to be effortless. You're using a lot of effort, you're shaking everything. I said you stand here long enough till you can stand for an hour without any effort. Then your heart begins to rise and you can put that as long as you want. So gradually you become effortless. You can only get tested, you can. So you let somebody put the weight on you first. Don't push me to put the weight on you. Right? So I become I don't do much effort. I'm going to stay long enough. Now I can push me now. Then I can also, ah, very comfortable. Because my hand can turn. So therefore, you, you know, you become effortless is the key. But in this put it in the situation. So when you do Tai Chi Chuan, you hold a posture. That's why I tell you to do, do the hold for an hour. That is not every posture that you hold an hour. It's to experience the effortlessness. Then you put the hand. Wait for a few seconds. And wait for a few seconds. So gradually, you go up here and here is an infinite number of posture. Now you're meditation. So you're experiencing endlessness in infinity. So gradually, your body know. Your body actually know already how to be endless. You already know. But somebody always say, "How can I learn to be endless?" That is the problem. You cannot learn to be endless because you already know how endless is like. Right? So you want to attain, get back that endless day. We are fright. We are frightened. If people come and running toward you, I mean, you cannot be effortless. You know, you will, you know, especially charging you. So you do a little training, a little thing. So therefore, you come and you say, come to me, I become. Uh, so my job is just GPS. If I can, I walk back a little bit. You know, there's uh, so many develop training like this. So things like they come over here. I just maintain to be effortless. But it looks like I use a lot of effort. But the fact is, I just bring forth this effortless into this situation. Some way, it's throwing at you at about 120 pounds. Well, not 120. <laughs> so you maintain you know, your body that so you stand like a scale. You put the scale in it right and take on the, you know, the weight up a little bit. And, you know, that's a, that can be trained. I mean, the, you do not look at the technique. The technique will be like this. Like this. Right? So actually, I'm putting it, it with a weight on me. I just want to be balanced. It's a good, an right? Not incredible. Then I can use the measure of press, and I can use a, a push, and things like this, you know? So gradually, what I do is bring forth this effortlessness 
into your package on top of which one set first. So that's why I wanted you to be able to do half an hour or 45 minutes effortless. So therefore, you don't have to learn the form before you see it. You learn that to be effortless. You just uh, recognize how this done. It's the same meaning.